Boy, it's a little chilly out here. The skies are gray, the leaves are nearly gone off the trees. Our diets kind of change a little bit, you know, in the autumn. They get away from the barbecue grill and we start thinking about more heavy meals, uh, meat, potatoes, and different things of that sort. And uh, about this time of year, beginning of November, we start thinking about Thanksgiving and about that turkey dinner that we want to have. Um, we're going to make a turkey in a trash can. We've been doing it at our family for about six or seven years now, and it's just absolutely wonderful. Uh, we call it finally uh, a trash can turkey, and I am here to show you exactly how we do it. The elements for making the bird are quite simple, for cooking the bird. We have um, a wooden stake, we have a hammer, and I'm not going to be hunting Dracula tonight, but this is what we're going to put into the earth. We've got 20 pounds of charcoal, aluminum foil, and of course, our trash can. Um, pretty doggone simple stuff. We just uh, find a spot on the lawn uh, that would be suitable to, to, uh, <laughs> to kind of uh, sterilize the earth so nothing will ever grow there in about uh, 50 years. So <laughs> I think I found a spot in my lawn. We're going to put this into the ground. And uh, I'm going to actually use uh, my trash can to kind of meter how far down to put this thing. We want the uh, top of the uh, stake to be about four inches below the top of the trash can, maybe a little bit more than that even. So I'm going to go ahead and pound this in a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is use our aluminum foil. You want to use some good heavy-duty aluminum foil. And um, this is a commercial grade, which is what I'd recommend, but uh, you can use whatever aluminum foil you might have in your house or just go out and buy some really good strong stuff. And we're going to wrap the, um, wrap the pole all the way to the ground with this foil. Nothing fancy here. Just kind of cover it with the aluminum foil. Just like so. Okay, at the very top, I'm going to put like a ball of it. So when we put the turkey on this, uh, this vertical spit, it won't slide through. I may put a little bit more on after I get done with this, but that'll be good for now. Okay, we're all done with the hammer. Okay, now the another critical thing you want to do is put aluminum foil on the ground around the stake. There we go, pretty easy stuff. Now I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to go right down here close to the bottom of the stake and just put foil all around there, like so. We want that to be really sealed nicely. You know, the first step, to, step in preparing the bird is to do a good brine. A brine is a mixture of water and salt. We normally like to use a good rock salt, a good clean rock salt, and it's two cups for every one gallon of water. And you'll want to brine the bird for at least 24 hours. Um, what that will do, it'll tenderize the bird and give it a lot of flavor. And uh, it also helps in the cooking. The uh, skin will be nice and crisp. The meat will be tender and juicy. It's just absolutely wonderful. Now, I've already brined the bird. I have the uh, bird right here in this container. I'll take it up for you right now. I've also already rinsed the bird. That's one thing that's really crucial. Uh, whenever you uh, remove the bird from the water and drain the water away, you'll want to make sure you dry the bird off very, very, very well. Also to rinse it very, very, very well. You want to get the salt off the outside of the bird, otherwise it'll be really salty. Uh, the residual salt that we want for flavoring is inside the animal and uh, the, uh, the flavoring will come through um, uh, with that amount of salt that's already been in it. We won't need to add too much additional salt to the outside while we cook it. Okay, the, I've got the bird here. Um, as I mentioned before, we have to dry it really, really well. Uh, we are going to uh, baste it with olive oil and put a little bit of salt and pepper on for seasoning. If you don't dry the bird off, uh, what will happen when you get the bird on the uh, flame uh, under heat, uh, the, sin might, the, the skin might get a little bit soggy. So we want to make sure that the, uh, that the uh, skin is very, very dry. We also dry the cavity of the bird for the very same reason. We want to try to eliminate as much steam as we possibly can. 
What will cook the bird is the heat and the fat that's in the animal. This is a good quality extra virgin olive oil from Italy. You can also use melted butter if you choose. I wouldn't use margarine or Crisco or any other liquid fat uh, because it doesn't have all that much flavor. But bird and olive oil, I mean, excuse me, butter and olive oil uh, are, are my, my, uh, my uh, oil of choice on the bird. Okay, I'm going to rub this all in, turn it over, and get the back. The way we're going to be roasting the turkey, all, all sides will be exposed to the heat. So we can get, um, get the oil on everything. Okay, it's nice and rubbed in now. I'm going to put some pepper on the bird, a good amount of pepper. Again, this will help in flavoring uh, the bird. Also, we'll get some uh, pepper inside, rub it all around. Turn it over, put some pepper on here as well. And it's, boy, it smells good. I like the way the pepper smells. I wouldn't use anything else on here. If you use um, any type of uh, seasoning, sage or thyme or any of the other seasonings, they'll, they'll just burn and uh, it'll give a bitter taste to the, uh, to the outside of the bird. Now I'm just sprinkling a little bit of salt over the skin. Again, not much because we've already had it in brine. And uh, right now the bird is ready to put on the, uh, the stick and ready for roasting. Well, I've got the bird here ready to go. I'll tell you, the method from this point on is pretty simple. All I'm going to do is take the bird and put it over the steak, put the can over it inverted, of course, and put the charcoal on and we're ready to go. There it is. Got our trash can on there. Put the charcoal on now. The rest of it we're going to put around the base. Now the turkey's only going to cook for probably this is about a 20 pound turkey. It's going to cook in a little over two hours, probably two hours or 15 minutes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and light this now. All the charcoal lit about the same time. I think this thing's about done. I'm going to take the uh, can off now. Got to be really careful. This thing is very, very hot. And this is a real leap of faith. We haven't looked at this turkey since we put it underneath this can. So uh, all indications are that it's ready. It's been underneath here for about two and a half hours. Oh boy. Looking beautiful. Boy, just falling apart here. Isn't that something? You'll notice it isn't a traditional looking turkey. That's because of the way it was cooked. It was cooked on a vertical stick and instead of being uh, laid down in an oven. Uh, but normally when we, get a, when we get the turkey to the table, it's already cut up anyway. And as you can see, it's just absolutely beautiful. But at any rate, it's done. And uh, we're going to cut into it right here. And boy, I tell you what, if you could smell this, oh, it is just magnificent. This meat is perfectly cooked, juicy. Oh, look at this stuff. Oh, boy. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Boy, it doesn't get any better than this. Just absolutely incredible.